Hey guys, today I thought I would do a little tour of my home. So if you guys are into that sort of gray minimalist home decor, then keep watching. So this is kind of an overview of my living room and it's kind of a cold and miserable fall day out there today. I live in Canada and it's October, so you never know what you're gonna get. But this is kind of an overview of my living room. So as you can see, everything in my living room is basically a different shade of a gray. Um, we're just renting right now, but when I picked this house, I picked it because the floors had already a really nice gray aesthetic to them and I thought I could work with it. My coffee table is from Wayfair. If you guys are interested in any of this stuff, let me know if I don't name anything, but I'll try to put as much stuff in the description box below as to where I got these things. Some of them I don't think you can get them anymore, um, but I'll do my best. I did recently do a video about my own homemade household cleaner. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely check that video out as well. On my coffee table, I just have a couple of little knickknacks that are um, pretty simple and pretty plain, but things I really like. So I have a little photo album here that has a couple pictures in it from past vacations that I've taken um, in Vegas and in New York. And I also have a really nice little flower arrangement with a glass vase or a mirrored vase I should say and I've always really really loved hydrangeas they're my favorite flower so I always keep those in my living room and then to the right of that I just have some marble gray coasters and we use these literally every single night so I'm a huge fan of having stuff around your house that is not just pretty to look at but stuff you actually also use my couch was purchased about two years ago from Ashley Furniture Store and you can get this exact couch from the United States as well. In fact, I think Wayfair sells either a similar couch or the exact same couch um, because they all come from some bigger company. It was about, I think it was about $1,200 for this couch, but we really wanted a sectional and we really wanted something cozy that kind of made the room a little bit more um, cohesive so that we didn't need a whole bunch of other pieces of furniture. The pillows are just from random places. I think these ones are from Walmart and one might be from Marshalls. And I've always really loved the look of a fluffy pillow and also the quilted pillow. The quilted gray is kind of like my favorite thing. And then I have another fluffy pillow just on the other side. The walls in my house, all of the walls are painted the exact same color. And I believe it's a beauty tone color. I'll try to list it for you guys below. Um, but the name of the paint is You Are So Cool. And it's your as in possessive, like Y-O-U-R. So if you're interested in a really light gray that just kind of goes with everything and really brightens up your space, I definitely recommend this color for sure. Coming over to the windows, I actually did a DIY curtain at home so it's actually just two panels layered on top of each other so it's one darker gray panel as you can see on the bottom there and then i took one lighter gray sort of a sheer curtain and layered it on top for a little bit of that flowy kind of a look and that's kind of what it does <laughs> And that's really about it for the living room. My lighting up top is nothing crazy. It's just what came with the house. So that's kind of what it does. And I like natural light better. And then if you look around my house, you'll see that I don't have a lot of decor on the walls at all. In fact, the only piece of decor that I do have is this clock and it's pretty simple and pretty minimal and that's what I like about it. I've always really liked Roman numerals and I was looking for a Roman numeral clock specifically to put in my living room and this was the one that I found and I believe this one was only $29 or something from Walmart, so really inexpensive as well. Looking at the foyer, there's nothing crazy going on here, just a lot of kids' shoes that are forever in the way and I always keep my handbag and my reusable shopping bags hung up at the front of the door so I don't forget to grab them when I go out. And then I just have a couple of baskets up top to do some organization. This isn't exactly how I'd like it. Ideally, I would like another organization bin there and I would like them all to be the same color. So it's kind of a work in progress, something I'm gonna be looking at doing in the future. But I really like the gray and white marble flooring in here. And uh, if you can keep it clean, it looks really nice. The view from the couch is literally just the TV on the wall 
and we don't have any kind of furniture or TV console or anything underneath it because to me that's just having extra clutter and more stuff to have to clean up and I don't like having a whole bunch of extra surfaces where stuff just tends to accumulate because the more surfaces you have in your home the more um, surfaces you have to put a bunch of junk and so for me I just like to keep things as clean and clear as possible with nothing on my counters except for like I say the odd decorative item like that but nothing extravagant. So the other really nice thing about this TV is that we only have internet. We don't have like satellite or cable, um, which is good because even that cord is kind of an eyesore. And so I couldn't imagine having a bunch of boxes and stuff. I just like to have it very simple and very, very minimal, one thing to choose from. So with your internet, you can do your YouTube and you can do your Netflix and you can stream things. So for me, I just didn't really see the need to have a subscription to any kind of a TV. Going into the kitchen, Again, I don't keep anything on my countertops. I like to keep things very clean and very very clear of any clutter. Um, usually this area isn't quite so cluttered, but we do have a little baby right now that is gonna be looking for a new home pretty soon. So this is her little den with her mommy. And otherwise I don't really keep anything here except for this bin, which has a bunch of cat toys and a chess set. So normally this is in the corner and there's no cat business going on here. We do like to light up some, some Christmas tree lights in the evening. I really like the warm aesthetic that the Christmas lights give. We don't have a big lamp or anything like that in the living room, so the Christmas lights just kind of give it a really nice ambient glow, especially in the evening. So you can see how, how nice and minimal and pretty that looks, especially at nighttime. It's the perfect amount of just cozy ambient light. On the kitchen counter, I don't keep anything except for my essential oil diffuser, which occasionally makes its way into my bedroom. Um, but I find the less you keep on the counters, the better. I used to keep like a dish soap and a scrubby and a cloth and everything else on the counter. And I just found it looked really messy and I don't like the way it looks. So now what I do is I actually have one of these over the door hangers. And this is where I keep my little dish scrubber. So that's a lot more aesthetically pleasing than leaving it sitting on the counter. On the opposite counter over from the sink, we just have our little coffee station and this is where I keep my Keurig and some fruits. And this is about as much as I ever have on my counter here. I did used to have a little plant there, but I recently got rid of that as well. I just like how it looks when there's really nothing sitting on the counter. It just looks so much nicer and more relaxing to me. And as you can see in the kitchen, everything is following with the same gray theme. So the cupboards are painted kind of like a mushroom gray. And then I carried on with the same paint color throughout the entire rest of the house. Coming over to the left, I have my little sort of plant sanctuary area. And this bird of paradise has been with me for almost two years. And when I first got him, he was about as high as those medium leaves and he has sprouted so much and he's grown so much since I've got him and he's my favorite plant in the whole wide world. And then next to him I have a little fiddle leaf fig and this guy here is getting a little bit of brown spots on his leaves and I'm not really sure why. If any of you guys are plant experts, if you could tell me why on earth my fiddle leaf keeps getting all these little brown spots, that would be really appreciated. Um, I think he's getting enough sun and I think I give him enough water. I like having a little bit of greenery in the home, but not all over the place. That's why I kind of corral them into that one area. And then looking at it from the other direction, we have the little bar stool area, the little counter area. And this house is pretty small, so there's no room for like a dining room table or anything. So this area kind of doubles as my kitchen slash dining room slash office slash where I do everything. <laughs> And as you can see, I just have a little candle going right now, which I often do throughout the day, especially when it's gloomy like this. And I just have my coffee cup and my laptop plugged in. And ideally I wouldn't even have the laptop sitting here or my coffee cup, but that's just, that's just me being real. This is just where, this is where all the magic happens. So with the counter, we just have a couple of gray bar stools that were actually gifts to me. And I'm probably gonna end up replacing them in the future with ones that are a little bit lower that I can just push right under the counter because these ones are getting a little bit tattered because of the cats and ideally I would have some that were made of a material that the cats couldn't scratch up. But for now this does just fine and I like the way it looks. Pretty minimal and pretty simple. 
And coming over to the left, we have a little bit more of that marble floor with the gray and the white and our door to the outside on the left side of the house. And then in the back there, I just keep our gray, of course, or silver garbage can and a little vacuum cleaner in the corner, which I use on a daily basis. Coming over to the bedroom slash bathroom area, again, I kept with the same paint color throughout the entire house. So we'll go and check out the bathroom. And this is kind of an overview of the bathroom area. So when I first moved in, this room was actually painted yellow. It was like a cream color yellow, kind of like that bar of soap. And it was really not very attractive. So I painted the whole thing that same You're So Cool light gray color. And I took out a couple of bulbs from up top um, for the lighting because I found it was a little bit too garish, a little bit too bright. But I really like the way it looks just with a little bit softer lighting. And I pretty much keep with the same gray look throughout the entire house. This planter I actually got from a local florist shop in town and I really like it because it reminds me of Nevada actually. So it's not very normal for me to have any like orange or brown, um, but just the color combination really reminded me of being in Nevada and so that's why I got it. And I also love the little Chinese money plant sitting here. He just adds a nice little pop of color and he seems to be doing pretty well. There's not a whole lot of light in here, but obviously he's getting enough. And I just have a nice white shower curtain and my towels of course are also gray. Everything is gray, gray, gray. And behind the bathroom door, we also have um, just a little stand here with some extra odds and ends that need to be um, gone through and some extra face towels, which are all shades of gray, which was not intentional. That's just what I have. And then we have a couple of cotton swabs and candle and some toilet paper down there. And here's another view of the bathroom sink. And we just have a gray towel as well. Coming out of the bathroom, this is a little overview of my bedroom. This is the master bedroom. I'm not gonna show you the kids' bedrooms because they're disasters and they need to be cleaned. But this is the master. So all I keep on my dresser is a couple of things for work and a couple of watches and some jewelry and then my perfumes and nothing else. I don't let things ever accumulate on top of there. I just find it looks really messy when that happens so I try to keep it as clean as possible. And although I consider myself to be somewhat of a minimalist, I do obviously love my perfumes. If you guys are interested in a perfume video about my favorite perfumes or which ones I would keep if I could only keep one or two, um, let me know in the comments below. That's something I've been thinking about doing. And then coming to the left, we have just a nice little stand-up floor mirror that I like to get ready in. I do have a closet with some big mirrors that are on top of the doors, but they're not really in an ideal place because they're right across from the bed. So there's really no place for me to stand and get ready in the morning. And that's why I like to have this floor mirror. So it's kind of in a better, a better spot for me to get ready in the morning. And I did the same, I did the same kind of thing with the curtains in here that I did in the living room. So I took a sheer curtain and put it over top of a darker curtain just for a little bit more flow. And when the heat's going or when the windows are open, it actually looks really, really nice and flowy. And coming to the left, we have the bed. So the headboard is purchased from Wayfair. I got it on sale. It's actually more white than it's looking. The film is making it look a little bit yellow, um, but it was a really good deal. The bedding is also from Wayfair. The gray pillow is from Walmart, I think, and the frame for the bed was from Amazon. And also the mattress that I'm using is from Amazon. And to the left, I have a little side table that I believe I purchased from either Wayfair or Amazon. And the the lamp is from Walmart, the flowers are from Marshalls, um, and then I just have a whole bunch of books that either I've read or I'm planning to read. And currently I'm working on these two, Let That Stuff Go and The Year of Less. So again, I don't like to keep a lot of stuff sitting around for decor. I like it just to look really clean and simple. 
And again, my principle is if I don't use it or if I don't think it looks beautiful, it's not gonna be sitting there. So really the only thing I ever keep there sometimes is my cell phone when I'm charging it at night. Otherwise there's really nothing on top of my nightstand. That's really it you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my house. If you like this video please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already and there will be more videos like this in the future as well as I do cleaning videos and videos about how to's and DIY's and fashion and zero waste and a whole bunch of stuff so I would be really honored if you would stick around and subscribe and that's everything and I hope everyone has a great day.